Okay, we'll start off, the first thing we want to do is, let's copy this entire block right here. I'm gonna put my cursor right here, and I'm gonna create a rectangle by dragging like this, okay? All right, I'm gonna press Control, Control C to copy. I could do that, or if you don't want to do that, you can just click on the three dots here and hit copy. All right, then let's come down here, put our cursor right here, and let's see if we can paste. All right, uh, I believe you can paste by going Control V. You can do that. You can Control V and you can paste. And while it's all selected, let's move it over. Let's see if we can move it here. Let's see if we can do that much. See if we can get everybody to do that much. Okay. And by the way, you can change the size of your, you know, you can change the size of your paper by dragging this, changing this value right here. And you'll need to do that. Okay. All right. Now, um, okay. Now, what we need to do, uh, what we need to do is the, the same thing that we did in order to find the name of this line, we want to do with this line right here. So let's see, let's take two points and let's put them on a line. Uh, let's take these two points here and let's put them on a line in certain areas where we have an intersection. So I'm going to take this point here and I'm going to put it right there. That's a nice intersection. I can always zoom in to make sure that it looks good. And I'm going to put the other point here and I'm going to put it at another intersection like right there. I'm going to zoom in to make sure that that looks good. All right. All right. Let's measure. Let's, uh, let's, we need a, let's go ahead and get the rise. Okay. We can, uh, let's see if we can just draw it. See, we can draw, let's draw a line for the rise. Let's see, if I start from here and I go straight up, I draw a line straight up, that'll be my rise. And I'm gonna take my, uh, ooh, that came out bigger than I want it to be. Let's undo that. When you make a mistake, use your undo function there, okay? And let's see, I want another, yeah, I want to do my run here. So, run right there. And let's see how long these lines are. And actually, I could have made my color change right there. I really want that to be, I really wanted my uh, run to be a different color in my rise. So, I'm going to undo, uh, I'm going to undo that, and I'm going to change it to, red and then I'm going to draw a line like so okay cool. now let's go ahead and let's go ahead and label this this rise here is two so I'm going to add a text box put a two there oh it's right here and I'm just going to make that two all right, where it says your paragraph text, I'm going to type a two in there, two. And actually, that's not my rise, that's my run. That's, it, that's my run there. And let's do my rise. Add a text box right here. Click down here. Make that one. And then move that one. You can always grab it by moving there. So our rise is one, our run is two. And so now that we have that, let's, let's go ahead and go back to our regular size here. We need to change our rise here to be one. We click on that, our equation comes up 
and let's take that four and make that a one. And one half is not the same as two, so let's get rid of this. All right, and then let's update. All right, that looks good. What is our y intercept? So our slope of this new line is one half. What is our y intercept? Our y intercept, if we, we need to zoom in to see where does this line cross? And I'm gonna use this one right here. And we got the, our line crosses the y intercept right here at one. And I'm going to indicate that by dragging this red point over to the intersection. And I'm gonna probably have to make it bigger. Move it over. And let's put this right there. <coughs> our y intercept. So we need to change our y intercept to one. So let's go over here. Sure, let's double click on this and go to the equation box, change it to one and update. And then finally, uh, let's rewrite our equation because our slope is one half and our equation and our y-intercept is 1, so our equation needs to be y equals to 1 half x plus 1. So let's click on the equation. Let's, let's select the 2. Let's go to our fraction and change that 2 to a 1. Put a 2 there. And let's change this 4 to a 1. And keep it green and update. And that looks good, and I want it to be a little bigger, so I'm gonna drag it out a little bit. And and if I, and that's it. I'm gonna move it over a little bit. And what we've done, we have successfully identified this line. Okay, got the slope, pick two points to get the slope, and we got the y-intercept. That concludes this video.